Hi men! Today we have prepared an unusual video for you. All stories were told to us by Russian students living in dormitories. I think it should be funny. Go check! It is believed that for each problem an adequate solution can be found. This guy hardly heard anything about adequacy. A neighbor in the dorm recently came home and couldn't take off his sneakers. His shoelaces were tied in a knot and he didn't want to tear them, since they were the only shoes he had and he hadn't taken them off for the fourth day and even slept in them. I'm going to move, preferably in near boring city. I love stories about strange neighbors, and what about you? I'm a first year student, recently moved into a dorm, and I have two other girls living with me. I understood that the next four years of life together would be very funny. One of them hands the panties of the boys with whom she had sex over her bed like trophies. She has already gathered three pairs of smelly boxers in a week. The second put a three-liter jar of the window skill and collected their cockroaches running around our room. She is planning to take them and dump them in the office of the rector. Put a like if you also like to eat at night and let's listen to the next story. What does it mean to live in a dorm? This is when you wake up at 3 a.m. from knocking on the door and there is some unknown guy with a whole package of products who begs you to teach him how to cook at least something because he is starving to death. Right now. Well, the training was successful and this guy now periodically feeds me after each lesson. Do you know how to steal with clear conscience? You will know now. But first, write in the comments if you have ever stolen something. Someone's heart is also considered. I live in a dorm. I came to the kitchen to prepare my miserable dinner yesterday. I noticed that someone was cooking a goose on the stove. Goose in a hostel where people see meat only in pictures. Unbelievable. I told my mother about it. I said, could I steal it? My mom answered, no. How could you ever think of that? Is this how your father and I raised you? Just cut the leg of the goose and put it back. Do you like last story? Let's look at the situation from the other side. I live in a dorm and cook in a public kitchen. I cooked fish soup yesterday, added everything, reduced the fire and went to the room. I went back to remove the soup from the stuff and there all the fish were disappeared. Plastic figures of fish were swimming in the soup instead. Barbarians. Well, that's all. If you liked the stories, do not forget to subscribe, please. Hug you and see you soon.